This possibly could be my biggest haul yet. I really don't know. It's the last haul of 2018. But it did pour over into 2019 as well. And I think that this time, it's really going to be my last big haul. I think. I think I'm getting it under control. I was just like... There were some really fantastic deals. There were things that I really wanted. There's finishing off collections. Let's just look at it. I Some of the stuff maybe I might have hauled. I don't know. Uh, 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 we, uh, let's start with these things. There's probably stuff over there. We'll get these out of the way. I got these five star Funko Aladdin. I got all four of those. I love five stars. They're so cute and adorable. They're little chubby baby characters. So I have those. Let me pile those over here. I already did the Loyal Subjects review of these. I did pick up those. I have some hot cash. I'm probably going to have to go to Hot Topic again and see if I can find some more of them. Amazon Canada had this crazy sale and so many things were ridiculously priced. Uh, I got these wooden toothbrushes. I might do an unboxing in a separate haul video. I think I might do part two of this video because I also got these Barbie fashions in a cardboard box. And these were about $7 each, which is amazing. That's the price of a single character, usually, when you get just the single boxed ones. They cost 8 I think, even, in Canada. So, to get these whole sets was crazy. They're usually 20 I got this at Canadian Tire, our hardware store. And I just really liked her face, so I picked her up. I got this Roadster Racer set, Mickey, and he, I have a car version of him, but this is like some kind of old-fashioned alternative version of it. See, this is the one that I already have, and I have this Daisy car to open. I'm going to do a great big giant Minnie and Mickey, these new Roadster Racer and Happy Helper openings. I love these toys. They're one of my favorite toys of 2018 for sure. And then I'm getting single characters in the mail, but I probably won't haul those. I'll probably just open them. They're exactly the same as the ones I have, but they have tools that are removable and stuff. They're really cute. I got this at the dollar store. It's just some tarot cards. I always liked tarot cards. I always thought they were cool. This was from Amazon. I think it was two or three dollars. So I just added that to my cart. These I got from Amazon. Again, they were, I think, three or four dollars, which is so good. And oh, I got this at Toys R Us. I paid regular price for this, but look at all those vintage classic Lego space characters. It's I think it's a fan favorite, definitely for from the new Lego movie. I got this at Toys R Us too. So these are starting to show up. I really like this line. I'll definitely collect it all. Oh, here's another one that I got at Amazon. Another one of these colorful sets. It was usually $10, and again, there were three. This I also got at Canadian Tire, and it was $11, and I was so happy to find that. I always wanted... These are usually around $25 for these things. So, a great price on that. I'll definitely have that in the back here to display. I would collect all of those if I could. I got her at Sunrise... I think it's called Sunrise Records? A record store. They're $18 at EB Games and online and stuff. So, I don't know why Sunrise is getting them in so cheap. So far, they're only getting in single ones, so I buy them when they have them. I have still yet to get the robot guy from DuckTales. But I'm going to also open up all of those in a giant opening. I'm going to show the collection from Series 1 and Series 2 of all of the Disney Afternoon characters from Funko. I got a few more Enchantimals. 
Oh, I got those from Amazon too. They were they were dirt cheap in the under five dollar range. So this set I got from Treasure Hunt, so it would have been seventy percent off. So that is why I picked that up. And this was the last set. This was on sale at Walmart. And it is the last set that I did not have of these outfits. I'm going to do a giant, I keep promising to do the giant 8, eight inch, I, whatever, what's the size of these? They're probably 6 inch, 6 inch doll collection. And their outfits. I'm going to show you the collection first and then one day I'll dress them all up. I picked up some of these were on sale on Amazon. So I got a few of those for fashionista heads to be put on these lanas. Oh, I got more of these bags. I found these at the dollar store and they turned out to be really good bags. I used them for my shopping and toy hunt and even for travel. And mine are kind of wearing out, but I do use them all the time. So they kind of ran out at the dollar store, but I found a new dollar store that opened. It's called the Dollarama in Canada. So I picked up a few more of those because it's a definitely a quality bag for four dollars. And I think it's actually pretty stylish too. I also found this, some kind of other really good quality pouch. Sometimes they get great quality things. I guess it's kind of like a travel kit, but I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's for your toiletries or something. I don't know if this is a skateboard company or what. I don't know, I usually like natural fibers, like cotton bags and stuff, but there's something about a good quality that's kind of retro-y and cool and nice. But then, speaking of which, this was on sale at the bookstore, Chapters. This is called Red Canoe Bags, and um, the CBC is one of our major broadcasting corporations in Canada, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And I loved watching it when I was a kid, and I went into the television field because of it, because of my love for TV. And it's just like retro awesomeness, and the, so the bag was on sale, and I always wanted these bags. I then ordered this one online where I ordered it in the store from their machine, from their computer, and I thought that the whole line was on sale, but apparently this wasn't, and I paid a little too much for this bag, and I thought it was going to be bigger, I thought that this could be my luggage, but do you know what? I'm going to make it my luggage. So the next time I go on a trip, I'm not taking more clothes that can fit into here. I actually am able to pack really light, usually. So I don't know, and my laptop can just fit in here, so it could probably fit all of my electronics in these bags. And they just look really, really nice. And then I can also stick maybe one of those yellow bags in here, so then I can fill it with toys. Wait, I'm not going to buy any more toys, I forgot. Oh, I have Fortnite versions. I don't know why I stopped showing you the five-star toys because I also have the Fortnite collection which I ordered from Walmart online but then I found them in stores so you can kind of see their faces in there they're cute man do I love these five star figures let me put those over here too and then at Treasure Hunt just yesterday they had a whole shelf full of these turtles and I always wanted these turtles but I felt guilty about getting them because I already have so many different sets of these turtles in like different costumes and different colors and variations but these ones have more color on them they colored their knee pads and stuff and this was the last series of this style before they've gone into the new cartoon and I already had one of them so I had to check which one I had, and then I went back to the store and I found, and I bought the other three, and they were 60% off this time at Treasure Hunt this week. So four dollars each is a pretty sweet deal for those. I found this banana. It's like this squishy banana at Walmart. Just when I was shopping and looking around. So that's kind of fun and cute. I might have to do a squishy video. I do have 
a bunch of squishies, and I don't know what kind of video I can make with those. Let's see here, I got lots of cars. Let's see if I can like, find all of them to show you. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Um, wow, some of that stuff I got a long time ago. Um, oh, these ones I might have already shown you. I have Harry Potter, five stars, just the other two kids. So far, I only got the kids. I try to be good, so I got the three kids, but I'll probably end up getting the other ones. Hopefully, they'll go on sale one day. There seems to be a lot of them at Walmart and stuff. And then the two superhero ones that have gone on sale but there's more in that collection, too. Yeah, eventually I'll probably get them all, though. Here's another Barbie fashion pack that I got from Amazon for really, really cheap. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you these cars. So there's a new series of Matchbox that have movable parts, and I remember having cars like this when I was a kid the doors always opened and stuff it was so awesome and these are very retro -y looking so I'm loving these and I believe that those are the first three to be released out of a six series set and then these I saw on the Toys R Us website cars don't usually last very long I think people probably buy them really quickly. Unfortunately, one was missing. I definitely should go back and check to see if it showed up. And I haven't seen these in stores anywhere, at least in Canada. Well, I haven't seen them in the States either when visiting. But they're a Disney collection, and they only cost the same amount of money as regular Hot Wheels. I am missing one of them. It just, it wasn't on the website. They just had these seven, and there are eight of them. So I think I'm missing that one, the rocket box with the big wheels. And then I found this really cool matchbox car at an electronic store when I was buying a new iPhone which isn't working very well, so I think I have to return it because it was a refurbished one. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, save money for toys. And I love that car, it's really cool. And then I found this Hot Wheels at probably the dollar store. And it looks super cool too. Maybe I might have that already. Something I have to do is take pictures of my collections that I only have partially completed to put on Instagram, so then I can always reference it. And you can also see what I have. Um, yeah, Too Hunky on Instagram. Definitely follow me. Okay, there's there's more stuff here. This stuff. This stuff I got long longer ago. Oh, I finished off my shoppies just in time for the mermaids to be released. I actually saw a mermaid car at Walmart yesterday. But I have the last two I need for this house-shaped set. I don't like that you can't stack these because I keep my collection back here and I can stack them all on top of each other. So I might have to open these ones now. I just like to look at them in their box and I'm happy, but they also have a hidden accessory. Even though it's always the same. Treasure Hunt. I think I got these when the 70% thing was going on. I found some Peppa Houses. Unfortunately, they were missing one of the colors. I think it's like a rusty red roof. So I don't have the full set. Oh, there's more cars in here. We got... Oh, nice matchboxes. They're very much in the same style as the ones I have. So, yeah, they look oh, quite sweet. Love the matchbox. Matchbox is always my favorite. I did see a, a couple five packs yesterday. There's always one in the five pack that I don't really want, and they kind of reissue the other ones um, eventually. Uh, I got these from McDonald's. They're not available anymore. Now we have, I believe it's Pokemon stuff now, but they're kind of cool. 
They're like little vinyl figures that you put the faces on them. But I'm not going to put the faces on them. I just like the little basic figures. They look really cool. And those are the two that I wanted the most. You could get other styles. I don't know if you can see them or if you saw them online. But yeah, the other colors and shapes I didn't necessarily like. So I was happy that those were the two that came out right away. And I got this super monster... He's my other favorite. I decided not to get all of them, which is crazy for me to do, but my two real favorite ones were Wolf Baby and Franken Baby. Kind of like, uh, it's, it's a slippery slope because then I like Dracula next to get him, and then there's that the zombie girl, and then of course I have to get Cleo and the witch girl too. So I'll probably try to just not get any more of those unless I find them on a super sale. I got Big Little Lies because it went on sale on Amazon. I love David E. Kelly. He adapted that, I guess, for screen. Um, this I found at Treasure Hunt, so it was like 70% off. And I don't have one of those before. I'm going to try putting her head on a WWE body and see how a little girl looks all buffed up. And then these were on sale at Toys R Us. I believe that they were half price. So I really love the style of these. And I wanted to get them for a long, long time. And, well, not too long because they're fairly new. But I was just waiting for a sale to get them. I think that they came to 2 or $3 each, if I do the math. So that's not bad. Actually, maybe I got it. I, I don't remember. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but it's a lot less than that what they were. They're usually six dollars, so yeah, I probably did way better than I than I thought I did. Look at how cute they are. They're so cute. And then I got a couple fashion packs. This is a new one from Amazon. It's my favorite new girly fashion pack. Oh, that's a great white shirt. Jed is going to get that white t-shirt, I think. Those are cool. And then I got this classic one that I found at Treasure Hunt. Awesome, when you can get them for 70% off. And this is one that I always, always wanted. Because it's just like, they're really good basics in there. And I've got this at Treasure Hunt. And so again, 70% off or 60% off, depending on what week it was. And I, hopefully I don't have him, but I always wanted to get that one, because he's hunky and chunky. And then I got George there, and I really wanted this set too, because I do have the Peppa version in this, and he comes with his dinosaur, and they're both wearing crowns. And then I was also good about not getting the complete set of these too. I just chose to get Ralph. And Vanellope, I've not seen the movie yet. I've not seen the first movie yet. But they look so cute, especially in those figures. It's, this is, it's not over yet. Lots of stuff for the Lukes. I found these for a dollar something at Walmart. And they fit so well on the Baby Alives. Wish I would have gotten them before Christmas, but I mean, it's still cold outside, so... It's not like they don't need them. So they fit so well, they look so cute, and they come with an extra scarf or something. And then I got this My Life As set for Luke. I think I really want to do a lot more videos, Baby Alive videos. I think that's what's gonna happen. I got this robe for him comes with pajamas for magic inside too, but Luke's going to do robe life. And then this hat is so cute, also from my life. I finally got the unicorn hat, and then I got him some roller skates, roller blades. These monster pajamas with monster pajama slippers, so adorable. I got him this my life hat. He is so spoiled. I got him a fishtail. There is a new baby alive 
series. There's a new mermaid. I accidentally stumbled upon it on Amazon. And I can't believe it. I can't wait for them to come out. I probably won't get them because they're girls with molded on hair. But I just picked up these in my life as tails. And now I have baby alive boys. Mermaids. Oh, did I show you this? I, I found this at Treasure Hunt. I had to test it out. But it looks really good. It's probably a bit big, but it still fits and looks awesome. And it only came to 60 cents. I think it was like in the Halloween discounts. I got these two more bracelets at the dollar store to make belts for my WWE gem fashionista mashups. Some Connects blind bags. I just picked these up at the dollar store. Always fun to open those. I got this Barbie from Amazon. She was really, really cheap. So lots of stuff for Luke, indeed. And then I got all these World of Nintendo figures. But they're from my friend. I will open those very, very soon in a video. I'm going to open them in a big, massive opening. And then I got this giant Imaginex Fisher-Price T-Rex. It's huge. It was so on sale. I think it was... 30 some dollars such a good price because it's over a hundred here in Canada and then I got this Barbie 1960s dollhouse also really huge and heavy and it comes with a 1960s reproduction Barbie in it and I'll probably open those later I'll open up all of these boxes in another video Probably I'll do that live and you'll see it before you even see this video. But go back and see me opening up those boxes if you haven't seen it already. Alright, so let me know which thing you want me to open more than any of the other things. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Wow, that was a lot of toys. No more toys. No more toys. Can I put this down lower? Kinda, not early. No more toys. Got some awesome stuff. Now I gotta put this stuff away. Like I have a place to put it or something.